I am dying of heat right now. I didn't even realize there were so many books I've had unfinished. Rory is going to beat me by so much. The Rory Gilmore reading. Forgot about the microphone. The Rory Gilmore Reading Challenge. My name is Michaela, and I like to read, but I don't think <laughs> I have read nearly as many books as Rory Gilmore, and today we will find out what exact percentage of her books that we've seen on screen I have read. According to this website, over the course of seven seasons of Gilmore Girls, Rory Gilmore was seen reading 339 books on screen. Basically, I am going to see how many of these books I've read. It's going to be embarrassing. I am certain I have not read many of these, and Rory will definitely win but that's okay. I want to beat though. The average score is apparently 51 out of 339 books. Okay, let's get serious, take off the glasses, and here we go. 1984, yes, Huckleberry Finn hated that. I could not enjoy that book. Alice in Wonderland. Now, the thing is about a lot of these, oh my gosh, Angela's Ashes. Everyone raves about it and I could not enjoy the writing style. Anna Karenina, that's another one. Okay, so far I'm like, I don't like any of these. And that really makes it seem like I don't like reading. I promise I do like books, but I've, I literally, I, I didn't enjoy Huck Finn, nor Angela's Ashes, nor Anna Karenina. This is embarrassing. Anne Frank's Diary, have read that one. Oh my gosh, Atonement. I happened to read this just a few months ago. That's the kind of book where you're reading it and you're like, why is this all so cliche? And then at the end, it's like, wait a second, this is not cliche. I was not expecting this. Really great plot twist. Babe, the gallant pig. I had no idea that's what it's called. Bell jar. Yes, finally. Beowulf. Does it count if I read a little bit of it? No, I don't think it does. I read like probably one tenth of it. That does not count. Oh, dang it, beloved. I got it from the library and then I never ended up reading it. So I would have been able to count that if I'd actually read it. Bhagavad Gita, I have read that. Took a world religions class. I guess half this video is just going to be <laughs> me silently like scrolling. Oh, haven't read that, haven't read that, haven't read that. Charlotte's Web, yes. Christmas Carol. It's gonna seem like I'm reading a lot more than I actually have because I'm just cutting out in <laughs> the periods of time where I'm doing nothing. Crime and Punishment, that was like the first classic I read that made me enjoy classics. I remember thinking like, all oh, classics are dry and then I read Crime and Punishment and I was like, okay, they can be really good. Curious Incident, The Dog in the Nighttime, love that one. I still haven't read any Isabella Allende, shameful. David Copperfield, oh my gosh, I took a Charles Dickens class, but that's of course not one of the books I read. The Salesman, The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I've read a lot of his stories and poems. The question is, does this count? I don't wanna be a cheater, so I'm not gonna count it, even though I've read a ton of his poems and stories. Emma, yes, I've read Emma. I wanna reread Emma, actually. Ethan Frome, oh my gosh, I loved Ethan Frome. I felt like I was reading about like my hometown because it's so quintessentially New England. Next page, uh, more Isabella Allende, I'm sorry. Ray Bradbury, <laughs> Fahrenheit 451, I read the first page. <laughs> That's all I read. Yes. Oh my gosh, as I said, it's really hot in here and my laptop is on my lap because I have my microphone and it's hooked up to my laptop and my laptop is starting to get hot and I feel like I'm like melting here. Flowers for Algernon, that was beautiful. Love that story. Frankenstein, yes. <gasps> Franny and Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. That is right here. Guess who hasn't read it? Freaky Friday. There's a book for them? Oh, goodness gracious. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes. <laughs> uh, Gone with the Wind. That was the second. Wait. I read Gone with the Wind because it was the end of a push, AP US History, and one of our assignments was to like read a book set in American history, maybe? But we got to choose, we got to go to the library and everyone picked their own book and I chose Gone with the Wind and it was so good. I need to pick up the pace here. Great expectations, yes. Hamlet, Harry Potter, yes, easy, easy, Harry Potter. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I read that one in Spanish too. Um, we had to read it in Spanish class and we all like had a sentence to read from the books. So we were all just saying it in Spanish. It was, it was like one of those fun holiday things before Christmas break. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness, I haven't read any. Jane Eyre. Oh, I love Jane Eyre. Although, Tenant of Wildfell Hall, that's my favorite Bronte sister book. The Jungle, that's another one. I've read a portion of it. I haven't read all of it, so I don't feel right counting it. So I'm not going to count it. Kite Runner, yes. Leaves of Grass, I think I've read some of that as well. Not the whole thing. Little Woman. Little Woman is probably one of my favorite classics. I would highly recommend it. The Lottery, yes. Lord of the Flies, yes. Oh, I almost missed Lord of the Flies. I hope I don't do that with any of their books. Macbeth. I had an oral exam on Macbeth back in high school, so we had to like know everything about the book, and then we went one on one with the teacher, and we were like interviewed kind of <laughs> about the book, but we didn't know if it was going to be an interview about Macbeth or another book we studied in the class. I don't remember because I didn't draw that one. You like draw out of the hat which book you get interrogated on, and I got Macbeth. There's going to be so much anecdotal 
conversation in this video that I'm also going to have to cut out because I know I'm chatting far too much. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway, I'm never reading anything of his ever again. Which sounds rude, but I despised The Sun Also Rises. Honestly, most of this video, I'm gonna be talking more about the books I don't like as opposed to the books I like. I need to stop. Okay, my sister's keeper. Look at that. We have another one right here, My Sister's Keeper. And once again, guess who has not read it? Night, yes. Northanger Abbey, yes. I wonder what my biggest streak is. Like two books in a row on this list, three books. I don't, oh wait, here's two in a row. One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest, yes. Our Mutual Friend. Dang it, I started Othello and I never finished that one. Outsiders. Dorian Gray, that book is so good. I was kind of annoyed as I was reading it because I was like, why is this so pretentious? But looking back, I like how pretentious it was. It kind of, it just, it sells it. It makes it so Dorian. <laughs> Pinocchio, have I read Pinocchio? Yes. Yeah, I have to think about that one. Pride and Prejudice. That one has so many ratings on Goodreads. I'm surprised at how many people have read Pride and Prejudice. Page seven of nine. Okay, currently we are at 43 out of 339. So if in the next couple pages, I'm able to get eight more books, then I'll at least reach the average. Hopefully. <laughs> Rapunzel, yes. The Raven and other po Okay, this makes me feel better. There's my Edgar Allan Poe representation. The Razor's Edge by William Somerset Mom. Oh my goodness. I read this book because it was Charlie Cox's favorite book and I loved it. I've spoken about it in a video before, so I won't speak about it again, but read The Razor's Edge. So many of these are on my to read list on Goodreads and it's really making me realize how far behind I am on my Goodreads list. It's gonna be kind of a problem. I always wanna, I always get A Room of One's Own and A Room with a View, oh, A Room with a View mixed up because they have such similar titles. Daisy Miller, yes. I wasn't fond of Daisy Miller. I felt like it was very plotless. Ooh, we're hanging out in America. Kind of like The Sun Also Rises, actually. Sense and Sensibility, I actually wish I watched the movie first because I feel like when I read the book, it just, some of it went over my head, I guess. And it would have helped if I had seen the movie first to have an idea of what's going on. The Shining, I want to read that. Why haven't I read more Stephen King? That's also shameful because he's a main author. Siddhartha. I have not read it. <laughs> More Hemingway, of course I haven't read that. Wow, I haven't read any of these. The S's are just not my category, apparently. Speak memory, yes. Ugh, the subtle arises. Why does Rory read so much Hemingway? That's a question I'd like the answer to. Maybe she has an explanation for it in the show and I just don't even remember. Tale of Two Cities, another Dickens book I didn't read in my Dickens class. Time Traveler's Wife. This book disturbed me. Oh, I just, I didn't like the themes in it because often it was a little kid and an adult who are in the different time time era thing they're lovers at other times it just didn't sit right with me <laughs> more hemingway what the heck hemingway needs to leave kill mockingbird of course the trial we had to read a chapter of the tri trial sometimes in class we have to read one chapter excerpts in books i feel like it never does it justice uncle tom's cabin i think we read that in a push i'm i i know i we we read it in a push no no we didn't i'm not gonna do it i wouldn't feel right doing it uh-oh, last page. Waiting for Godot. Not only did I read it, but I performed a section of it last year when I took a theater class. I don't remember any of my lines. I was about to recite a line and I don't remember any of them. Wuthering Heights. There should be more Bronte sisters on this list. Rory needs to... Oh no. <laughs> 18%. My rank. Oh my gosh, my rank? 76,956. Granted, it's out of 400... 1,817 users on this list. Long story short, I haven't read much. <laughs> there are a lot of classics I haven't read. Like, th this reading list is a lot of quality literature, I feel like. So apparently this is better than 81% of users, which leads me to conclude that Rory is just not reading a lot of books that we generally read. My reading has been a little bit slower this year. Thanks to this monster. Read my review on Goodreads if you want my opinion on it. This is getting off topic. That was the Rory Gilmore reading challenge. Um, that was kind of fun, as shameful as it was. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week.